it is Friday. I think it's like 11, 11.30 right now. And I'm starting a new vlog because I was just editing one. I'm leaving town next week and I wanted to see if I could make sure I still got videos posted twice. And I don't have a ton I have to do today. I actually have some photos I have to edit, but was just taking a little break from that to edit a video. So um, I am officially all caught up with editing my videos, which means I will not be behind anymore. So the video I'm editing right now, I took last week, so already not super far behind. And yeah, I have to film something if I wanna keep posting. So here we go. I was going to film last weekend because I had a like fun weekend. I was fully prepared to film it. I think I filmed a teeny bit of it Friday morning. And then my camera, fell off of my kitchen counter and it was actually recording but my camera lens was out like i don't you probably don't know what this camera looks like but it's a little camera that like the lens is fully attached it doesn't come off or anything just like a little pocket camera but when you turn it on the lens pops out and um when it fell it hit the lens and like wouldn't zoom in and i or sorry wouldn't focus and i was like oh that's weird i'll just shut it off and turn it back on and when I went to shut it off, the lens wouldn't close all the way and it gave me an error message and just automatically um, shut down. And when I tried to turn it back on, it again, wouldn't move and just said, and what did it say? It just said lens error. And then again, would automatically shut off. So I was feeling so stressed. I was so mad at myself that I had put it on my counter, but it wasn't like on a stable surface. And I was just mad that I let it hit the ground and I was so paranoid that I had just broken this camera that I, like, yeah, it's a decently expensive camera, but it wasn't even that. It was more just the fact that, like, I bring it everywhere with me. I vlog so much of my life, honestly, that I was so sad to, like, lose this camera. I was looking up videos on how to fix it and this one guy was like, oh, I'll show you how to fix it. He took apart the entire camera and I was like, that's... I'm not gonna do that like I do not trust myself I was gonna have my brother fix it because he's really good at taking stuff apart but I even knew then like if I let anyone take this camera apart like there's a chance it's never gonna work again and it won't be able to go back together whatever and then I saw this video of this girl that the exact same thing had happened to her and she was like I know this sounds weird but like give it a couple days and just like gently tap on the bottom of the lens like periodically and I was like, whatever, that sounds stupid, but I was doing it. And like two days goes by and I took it on a family like razor ride because my brother was going to be there. I was going to give it to him to work on it. Cause at this point I'm like, there's nothing else I can really do. I'll probably just have to buy a new camera, but I'm going to let him work on it first. And on the drive out in the hills to meet the rest of the family, I turned it on and the lens just like went back in and it just works now. And so I'm like, <laughs> I don't know, still a little paranoid. I don't think it's fully fixed, but I'm not gonna question it. Um, I'm just gonna keep using it for as long as I can and try and be much more careful with it now. So yeah, that is the story of why I did not vlog last week and not that I did anything crazy. I went up to Spearfish on Friday, I had some work to do and it was just, a really great day i went to an old coffee shop that i used to go to when i was in college just got tons of work done it was just a really perfect kind of like gloomy day to be in a coffee shop and then saturday we went for a razor ride in the hills with family and i actually wait i totally have footage of that yeah i'll put some in here i never really get like that important of, of footage it's like and i didn't get it on this camera i got it on my gopro but it's like it's cool, I'll put in a little montage of our weekend last weekend. stick at you. Oh, that's very good. You, want you can follow. I know, I was getting everything behind us. Chill out. 
you don't have to like run down the hill. It's not a not a race. No, you're not. <laughs> Yeah, those rocks are easier than the tree. Which one moved? One of those. There's a really easy rock path to get by the water. Careful. I think this way is going to be a shorter walk. Well, no shit. Hey. Wouldn't it What's be? What's up with the rudeness? Not no. necessarily, What's Sam. Up with the what attitude? It's back over there. And we have to go all the way around and come back. No, we don't. Yeah. We literally go that way. Yes. <laughs> we literally go that way. <laughs> We're not going to go that way. That's home. That's back. No, it's not. Yes, it is. How in the hell, if we go that way, are we going to get to our four wheelers? I promise you right now. Babe, it's that way. <laughs> it's 100% one... that way. You're wrong. No. You guys? Tell me right now, which way, which way are the razors? Told you! Freaking told you! How the fuck? You guys don't know where you're at. We literally just walked all the way over there. Yeah, that's what I thought too. He, he tried to tell me, I don't know if this way is going to be faster than the other way. And I said, why wouldn't it be? How is it not faster? He said, well, we have to go all the way around. I said, no, we don't. Your earrings are right. There's a goofy. Good. I mean, you guys are around to <laughs> tell me I'm right more yeah. often. Well, this is where we looked at. Go right, DJ. You guys are <laughs> so confused. I know it's really hard to admit I'm right. We promise we're not taking you okay, on the wrong right. track. I thought we were Sorry. walking along a ridge. I was thinking we walked along that ridge and then we came up through the thing. I swear we walked up and did pull the left to go into that cave. We did. But look. We did pull a left. You go all the way up there and then take a hard Swoop left around. and come in from back over there. So why is he telling us to go that way? Well, well look where they are. He wants you to see the front of the cave. Yeah, that's because oh. you could see it. Oh. That's all he's showing you. He's not going to make you go up that way again. <laughs> I yeah, think I will. Yeah. I decided I would vlog this weekend and I don't know what we're doing nothing crazy I was going to go to lunch with a friend today and then she had something come up so I actually don't have anything like any place I have to be today I have work that I need to do and so I'm just gonna kind of gradually do that throughout the day um, do some laundry maybe pick up the house maybe read a little bit and just kind of have like a pretty relaxing Friday get some work done but not put like too much pressure on myself and then tomorrow I don't think I have anything during the day but at night I am going to this like a little event that has like tarot card reading and readings and all that stuff and I'm going with my friend Delaney so I'm really excited for that I think that'll be really fun and if I can bring you guys along at all even if it's just a couple phone clips then I will and then don't know what I have going on on Sunday so might not be a very exciting vlog maybe we will organize maybe we'll clean maybe we'll just hang out but thank you guys for being here and then next vlog will be more exciting because like I said I'm going to Rhode Island for a wedding and second shooting again second shooting at a place that's a legitimate castle I can't wait and I've never been to Rhode Island before so that will be a super fun vlog it'll be a really quick trip um, but I will make sure to vlog as much as I can. So in the meantime, let's just enjoy this weekend. I hope you guys are having a good day or week or weekend whenever you listen to this. And yeah, let's go. I just saw a TikTok where a girl was making like a cucumber sandwich. And I've definitely had a cucumber sandwich before, but not in a long time. And the way that she made it looked pretty good. But then she was like, oh, I feel like it's missing something. And so I looked in the comments to see what other people said. And they were like, add jalapeno to it, add onion, add everything with the bagel seasoning, all that stuff. So I'm going to attempt to make a cucumber sandwich because 
my dad just dropped off some fresh cucumbers from their garden and I need to make lunch anyways. I don't know if this is like a really good lunch, but it sounds good. So we're gonna do it. And if you've uh, been here before, you know that a lot of the things I make end up, like they are always very experimental and half the time they don't turn out. So hopefully this is good, but here's the kicker. I don't have bread right now, which is sad, but I just emptied out our pantry and the bread we had was just kind of like dry. So I'm gonna use an English muffin and instead of making it like a full sandwich, I'm just going to like make two halves of it and I'm gonna toast it. Wait, should I toast it? Yeah, I'm gonna toast it. And then I'm just gonna have like two halves of it. So let's try it. product I didn't put onion on because I felt like it was kind of already toppling over but it looks pretty good so let's try it I hope it's not too hot um the jalapenos are from my parents garden too so we will see how hot they are I actually really like that I think it's super good I don't know if I would make it all the time but it's a nice little refreshing little meal I guess I would want to try it with like real bread not just English muffin because I feel like it's a lot of bread on here but actually gotten a lot of work done i edited a full youtube video to go up this next monday so i didn't even need to edit it for like two more three more days i sent out a gallery which i wasn't even due until next friday so like got a good amount of stuff done but it was stuff that actually didn't take me as long as i thought it would and i should have the thought of like oh i got all this done and now i can just relax and do whatever and I'm just having a really hard time relaxing and I don't know why but I tried to I'm gonna see how cold it is I hate how the lighting gets so bad no yeah it's cold out maybe I'm just being a wimp because it's not like it's that cold but I was gonna go for a walk maybe and it's just too cold for a walk. I do not want to do that. So I think what I'm going to do, because I tried to read, my Kindle died, and I like just wasn't really in the mood. Wasn't really in the mood to like watch TV or do anything. So I think I'm going to put a podcast on and organize, which doesn't sound that fun, but I just feel like I need to be doing something right now. Like I need to be productive. And that is something I just desperately need to work on is like learning how to just relax especially when i get my work done but for some reason i'm having a hard time with that so 
I'm gonna put on a true crime podcast because I haven't listened to true crime in a long time and I just kind of like started to get back into it. And I found a new one that I kind of like still getting into. So yeah. So I just showed that I, let me close this, that I reorganized this. This was basically filled with just expired food. So I just made this kind of my coffee little drawer and I was able to use, I had a bin down here and was able to repurpose that and another bin in the pantry and use them to put fruit and vegetables because I normally put them in these drawers. And then they kind of get lost. I forget we have them and then they just get really gross. So I figured if you open the fridge and that's the first thing you see, a lot easier to just like grab something like that. So it still isn't like perfectly organized, but hopefully this helps me like keep it, I don't know, maybe I'll be more motivated to clean it out <laughs> more frequently or like make it, making it like a once a week kind of thing. So there's that. I let Conrad outside because when I was cleaning or organizing he was just meowing constantly and jumping up and literally hanging on the door handle trying to open it so i finally was like yeah i'll just let him out back because normally out back he stays in our yard even though he's totally capable of leaving he's only actually left once and yesterday he got out and like from the front door i don't know if i said that but he got out when dj was leaving for work have to get stuff to make rice he found his way back after like an hour i found him just sitting on the porch so i know he knows his way around so i'm not like super concerned but i went for a little walk around the block just to see if i could find him because it is gonna get dark soon and i definitely don't want him out here when it's dark but i don't know he's not really like a runner he just likes to play and like grass and just like roll around so i'm sure he's just like in one of the neighbor's yards and i just can't see him because he's gray and hides super easily but yeah i'll keep you guys updated i'm hoping i find him i'm gonna grab some food and go like shake it outside but real quick because i made a crock pot meal it's butter chicken which i've i'm gonna set this down which i have made before and i've made a uh, youtube video showing me make it but it's super easy but we always just eat it over rice and so dj will be home in like half an hour so i'm just gonna start some rice in the rice cooker and then we'll be ready to eat when he gets home Hey guys. 
guys, it is Saturday evening. I think I got some little snippets from what we did this morning and like the rest of the day, but I didn't full on come on and vlog. I think I just got phone clips, so that'll have to be good enough. But we just kind of relaxed today, just kind of made it a day date. We went to Tally's, got breakfast this morning, went and actually got pedicures, which DJ loves getting them, so it was super fun. And went to a couple different stores couple different stores downtown DJ got a haircut I think that was it and then we went home so just kind of little like non-important errand fun kind of things and I did not clean the house at all I don't know if you can see anything behind me but it is it's a disaster I don't know how it is already because I cleaned yesterday but it is what it is um, but when we got back, I finished a season of Ink Master, so I literally just laid in bed and ate junk food and watched TV for like two hours. And now I'm getting ready to go out with my friend Delaney. We are actually going to this little, like, it's called a Practical Magic Night, and I don't exactly know what it's going to be. You pay like 20 bucks, and there's like tarot card readings and like spiritual kind of stuff, and they give you drinks, that's included, all that stuff. So... I'm excited. It's totally up my alley. I think it's up Delaney's too. So I think it'll be fun to just see what it is. And it's 20 bucks at the very least. We'll get entertainment and drinks out of it. And then depending on how long it lasts, we, um, sorry, my neighbor is looking right in my window at me. Depending on how long it lasts, we might go get a drink downtown afterwards. I'm not really sure, but I will probably just get phone clips for that too. I definitely don't want to bring this camera with me. But I'll get clips when I can, and I'll probably put together like a little TikTok video for it. But yeah, that's kind of my night. I think I will vlog tomorrow, at least the beginning part of tomorrow. And then I will probably, I will probably end the vlog like tomorrow mid-afternoon so I can edit it and hopefully get it up by Thursday because I have a really super busy week. Um, but want to make sure I get two vlogs up this week. So that's what my night is looking night like The cat is trying to get outside. He literally jumps on the handle. By the way, he did come home last night literally right as the sun went down He found his way back. So I probably didn't need to worry, but I was starting to worry. Oh, that is oh my gosh That's so bright <sighs> I did worry a little bit because I I don't know. I like, I know he knows his way back. I was a little worried he might get hit by a car. Like, I didn't know. Anyways, I think I'm gonna run out of space. I'll see you guys in a little bit. No, it's not gonna be the end of the vlog yet. I but I am gonna make this the last day. Oh my face looks so red right now. I think it's why is it so red? Oh my battery's gonna die. Hold on, I'm gonna switch that out. I switch my battery out. I have a nice full battery, I think. But I'm gonna go out to my parents' house. It's really nice out. It's like 80 degrees right now. I'm in a sweatshirt and I don't know why. It was like kind of chilly in my house and now I'm feeling way too hot. It's probably gonna take that off, but my mom and I are gonna go for a walk and then my parents have like a lot of good peppers and squash and apples and stuff in their garden. So I think we're gonna make like stuffed peppers and apple crisp and that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, I won't be out there super long. It's only like one right now. So I'll probably, I'll probably be there for a few hours, but I'm not gonna stay super late because I do have to teach a bar class in the morning and I don't normally teach on Mondays. I'm just filling in for somebody and I have yet to make a new bar routine. So um, yeah, not gonna stay super long, but just thought that'd be a fun little thing to do today. I went to a workout class this morning, cleaned the house, just, I don't even wanna say clean the house. I like picked it up just kind of barely. And yeah, it's just nice outside. I thought it'd be fun to go hang out at their house so I can like just <gasps> spider. <laughs> okay, I'm so over spiders. I just killed one in the house like two minutes ago. Anyways, let's drive out there. I'll bring you guys along. <laughs> it's bigger than 
in my head. <laughs> I thought oh what we would gosh. do is we'll, I think I'm going to wrap one in foil and bake it and it'll be like for a potato for two. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Decide if we're going to make apple bars or apple crisp. Ooh, I like them both. both. Wait, do you have ice cream? I don't. help you do with like if you want to get that core out I know but there's different ways to cut an apple well, that's not how I slice okay you slice however you want I slice like this so I don't cut my fingers off okay 